guys, this is Varun from Secret of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So welcome back to this series slash this video part 2. This part 2 of the compass video that I posted last week. So if you haven't seen part 1, I would suggest, suggest that you go over there first. I'm looking up in the eye card up on the top right. Over there you will see the sketching phase, color blocking, base colors, some of the shadows and highlights that you already see on screen. I'm working on it there. I also explained the concept, um, why it took me a year to finish this piece, and um, some other tidbits are over there. So I suggest that you watch that first and then come back to this. But if you did already come from that video, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again today. We are just continuing the piece for now. Right now, the footage is still in 2018. Um, once again, I will warn that if you hear any construction or talking in the background, that's because there is still construction things around inside the house. So that might leak into the audio. But for now, we're doing chill stuff. Um, I'll leave you with music for a little bit. And I'll jump back in once we start into the fun 2019 stuff and how it differed from what I'm currently doing. Okay, jumping back in. We are now in 2019. We are working on the backgrounds. Um, at this point, I thought and I realized that what I did in the in the piece in 2018 is not enough. And I need to incorporate the background at this point. So what I'm doing is that I'm doing like a kind of mixed gradient type of thing. So this is a technique that I kind of learned in work or at work. And I kind of use this for my designs at work actually. So I kind of like this mixing of three gradient type of thing and originally i wanted to do like a galaxy background but i went with this instead because it's a bit more fun a bit more interesting so what we're also doing right now is that we're trying to determine what things i need to fix so what i ended up with is that i noticed that the arm is wonky and the face shape i want to change maybe how the nose and mouth area is drawn the eyes also need to change and it is at this point that I decided, which I mentioned in the last video, I decided what I need to fix in order to finish and progress through this artwork. So I decided to leave the arm alone and fix whatever I can, that being the neck and the mouth. Because if I fix the arm, I would either end up hating what I'll be doing or get so frustrated and abandon the piece completely and scrap it. Or I leave it alone and just live with the fact that I know that there's a wonky arm over there. And living with the knowledge that there's a wonky arm in one piece is not that big of a deal, so I left it alone. So I'm just deepening in the shadows a bit more. So this is what changes a little bit from 2018. So back in 2018, I dared not make such deep shadows. They're not even that deep, to be honest. Um, but the shadows are deeper than what I would usually do. And the, the brush that I'm using actually is different. In 2018, I used the oil paint brushes to for everything. I didn't change out of that. But now I am leaning more towards the watercolor brushes. And it kind of makes sense, because my favorite medium 
in real life or in traditional is watercolor. And I like how it blends a bit better. Sure, I like the strokes and how it's obviously the oil paints, but I like how I can do such blends a lot easily or easier or better with the watercolor brushes. Naturally, these are slightly tweaked to my preferences. So if you have clips to you paint, um, you can actually tweak your brushes up there to the left side. Um, mine are still based off of the the basic ones, but I did tweak like the pressure and the color, um, the all that color stretching and transparency and all of that. But it's still somewhat the basic brush that you get. So here we're adding more shadows to the jacket so that it's not so washed out so there's more definition to the piece. I'll also be adding in some highlights later just, you know, create, create more interest. So now we're going in with the highlight, and if you notice, um, well not right now, here we go. So if you notice the color that I'm using, it's not actually a light purple, and that's because there's a light source that's yellowish up the top left of the piece. So I'm using a yellowish, very pale yellow highlight, and that makes it tie in a bit more with the background. And since I'm using this color, it gives it a more professional finish because I'm using it as a sort of line art or stand-in for the line art and it looks it still looks part of the piece without being too harsh or too um too solid because it's the thing with line art I love line art but sometimes it can come up as too solid to the point that it overwhelms the rest of what's on the piece and that's something I've been trying to learn to either get around or incorporate with how I do line arts so I found that by using the highlights, I can create that line art effect but still make it look um, blended in enough that it still looks polished and deliberate. And finally, we are fixing the eyes. So these eyes I've known since the start that they're kind of weird or wonky and I couldn't figure out what was exactly wrong with them or how I could fix them. And after a year, I figured out that hey, it's the eye shape that's weird. Sure, it's still pretty big and I, if I did that now, I'd try to make it a bit smaller. But it was definitely the eye shape. So now I'm adding in more depth into the eyes because, you know, there's very black centers in the middle of your eyes and it creates more realism, quote-unquote.
Alright, so what you see right now is me doing the overlays and um, it's a way of doing gradients that it's an overlay layer so that the shadows or the highlights on the different layers or on the piece kind of tie in with what's in the background. So I don't show all of the process, it's, it's kind of long and I mess around with it a lot. But essentially I took the dark blue from the lower right, put that near the shadows area, put it an overlay, decrease the opacity. So now my shadows have a bluish tint. If you see the gloves right now, I took that from the light blue from the upper right um, and overlaid it on the piece again, set the opacity lower again, and that creates a bluish tint on the highlights. So it's those little touches that make the piece look more polished, look more um, cohesive, and I don't, I don't know if it's cheating, I mean I see a lot of artists using that technique and when I was young I really felt guilty using those like layer techniques because I felt like oh if in traditional I am able to do it with just a brush and blah 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 um, I should do it be able to do it with just a brush also in digital blah 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 but in reality those tools are built in there because you, you can use it that way like you don't need to struggle to, to get the effect that you want by using the brush when in reality all of the paint styles and kind of the techniques in digital art is just mimicking what you do in traditional art. So that gradient thing is essentially you, like for example with watercolor or even oil paint, taking your brush and like using, like watering it down to the point it's super liquid and transparent. So that's what the gradient is essentially. So yeah, I, I random thought because I used to be really against using layer styles and special tools and effects but now now that I became a graphic designer to be honest it started there even in college I kind of refused to do that but ever since I became a graphic designer and had to manipulate photos and stuff like that with lighting and colors I ended up accepting and relying on layer styles more. So now we just we're just finishing up the compass which should be the center of the piece by adding a little glow around it and we're finally done after one year of working on it essentially we're finally done okay now we're on something new yay so if you enjoy that please feel free to follow me on the facebook instagram at deventart also like the video if you did enjoy it and i'll see you around <laughs>